Hello everyone, this is Isaac, and welcome back to Isaac Reviews 2020. Man, is it great to be back at a theater. The last time I saw a movie in an actual theater was all the way back at the end of February with Onward. And after that, it was just a slew of crappy VOD movies with about two exceptions to the rule. But now I've made my grand return to the theater and saw Tenet. As a fan of the Dark Knight movies, since Christopher Nolan directed those, and also is directing Tenet, I was interested to see how Nolan would pull it off, especially with how interesting the trailer looked. But, now that I went and saw it yesterday, the best way I can describe it is that it's like the trailers. It's really confusing, but it's fantastic for what it delivers. Now, the story, it's a little hard to describe. Basically, a secret agent dude has to bend time in order to stop World War III and stop some bad guys from killing people and blowing stuff up. But the way the plot is presented is very hard to describe with words. It's the kind of movie where you'd have a better time understanding it if you go and see it. Since, well, I, I don't want to spoil it for you because I'm... I'm against spoilers, and if I were to spoil something, then I'd have a warning before the review starts, saying if there's spoilers or not. It, it, yeah. Um, anyways, it, the movie does start off relatively slow, but it really kicks into maximum overdrive by the time Mr. Secret Agent gets hired by the tenant people. Like, it just goes maximum overdrive to the maximum. Anyways, the writing's relatively hard to describe, so what can I describe easier? Well, firstly, the soundtrack in the movie is amazing. As someone who enjoys movies with synth soundtracks from composers like Mark Mothersbaugh or Henry Jackman, uh, Tenet's composer Ludwig Goransson, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, does a great job on the synth aspect and really amplifies the mood of the action. Speaking of the action, the fight scenes are the highlight of the film, and what makes them better is that the visuals are gorgeous. Like, the editing and how the visuals look is just amazing. Like, it's just... I can't really describe it all that well, other than the fact that it, it looks great. Okay, I... I think that's all I really need to say off the top of my head, so why don't we wrap up here? So, I won't say this film is perfect or anything, the sound mixing can be weak at times, and as I mentioned, it does start off rather slow. But, when it comes to Tenet, everything else from the visuals to the score to the performances really overshadow the negative aspects. Like, the negative aspects of this film are just nitpicks. So. Overall, um, I wanted to talk, um, all I wanted to do is just talk about Tenet. There's nothing else I really need to say besides, if you want something to welcome yourself back to the theater with, this is it. And this is a 9 out of 10. So, thus concludes this episode of Isaac Reviews 2020. Um, this is a little unscripted ending part, but I would have reviewed the Mulan remake next, but... That review is going to come out in December, because we're just going to wait until it's free on Disney+. Plus. So, the next time you'll be joining us is most likely for Wonder Woman 1984. I haven't seen the first film, but 1984 does look interesting, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. And also, there's Connected. I'm a little skeptical, but I'm still trying to remain optimistic. I mean, Sony has been really improving lately. So, thank you for watching this review. Um... Uh, please subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll, uh, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video, I suppose. So, thanks for watching and have a great day.